हेलो एवरीवन आई एम सजाद एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक व्हिच इज फाइबिलिटी टेस्ट फॉर टैबलेट्स दिस टेस्ट इज फ्रीक्वेंटली यूज्ड फॉर टैबलेट्स ड्यूरिंग इन प्रोसेस कंट्रोल इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्रीज नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न व्हाट इज फाइबिलिटी व्हाई वी परफॉर्म फाइबिलिटी टेस्ट व्हाट आर द अदर नेम्स ऑफ फाइबिलिटी टेस्ट एंड व्हिच टाइप ऑफ apparatus is used for friability we will also discuss that how many tablets are selected for the friability test and what is the procedure of friability test we will also discuss acceptance criteria of friability so let's start what is friability basically friability is defined as percentage weight loss is known as friability as you can see percentage weight loss of tablets is known as friability so in simple words the weight loss of tablets by chipping capping or effect of attrition during friability test is known as friability what are the other names of friability test the other names which are used for friability test are drop test abrasion test and attrition resistance test now one of the most important question which is commonly asked is that can we perform friability test for coated tablets the answer is no basically friability test is performed for those tablets which are core or for those tablets which are going to coat mean before coating we perform friability test we do not perform friability test for coated tablets before after coating the polymer and formulation used for coating itself gives strength to the tablet so friability test is only performed for the core tablets now we will discuss why we perform friability test the simple answer is that we perform friability test to check that how strong tablets are mean we perform friability test to check that how much strength can bear the tablets because our tablets are going to further processing for coating process for blistering process for packaging process and for transportation so before going to the next steps after compression we have to perform friability test to check that either our tablets are strong enough to withstand pressures attritions and different forces which are applied during coating process and during blistering process and during packaging process and during transportation so why friability test is performed to check that how strong our tablets are and our tablets are not capped chipped or break down during following method during following steps like coating blistering transportation if you take about coating for coating we know that coating is a lengthy process or at least it take 2 to 3 hours for a coating process and during coating process our tablets rotates in a rotating drum during which our tablet have to bear attrition and tumbling forces so if our tablets are not strong enough they will break down or will cap or will chip during the coating process so our coated tablets will not be good in quality and coating process will not be smooth so we perform friability test during compression operation and before start of compression operation first of all we perform in process testing during which one of the most important test performed is friability if our friability is passed then we continue our compression operation and when compression is completed our batch is ready for the coating and we have a confidence due to the friability conditions and limits because we proceed coating if our friability is 
under our acceptance value what is the acceptance value we will discuss is later on in the same way during blistering if our tablets are coated they may easily blister because coating give strength to the tablets but most of the cases we are also using core tablets for the blistering so core tablets may face friction and rubbing forces by the feeders of blister machines so during blistering most of our tablet edges are break down so friability play an important role to provide protection to our tablets during the blistering process and after blistering in the same way during packaging the blister pa blisters are shifted on a conveyor belt or during in automatic packaging in games cartridge packaging like process may also break down our tablets due to the attrition or due to the fall of blisters so our friability should be in the limits the next is transportation transportation is of two types one type is to transfer the tablets after compression from compression area to the storage area and from storage area to the coating area and coating area back to the storage area and if core tablets then after compression to the staging area and staging area to the blister machine so during all these transportation in pharmaceutical industries these type of transportations are either make manually by lifting in hands in a in case of drums or polythenes or either it can be placed on different type of ss trolleys so this may result in breakdown of tablets if our tablets are not strong enough so we always conduct friability test to ensure that our tablets are strong enough the next phase of transportation next type of transportation is basically delivery of products from pharmaceutical industries to the distributors and distributors to the pharmacies so a large number of workers may be involved during loading and unloading and if our tablets are not strong enough and our tablets are not coated so they may break down during this type of transportation so friability test is very important to make assure that our tablet will not break down during all these steps so now what is the apparatus name which is used for the friability test this is most commonly asked question in most of the interviews and most of the people do don't know so the simple answer is the apparatus used for friability test is known as friability and more precisely the precise friability used is known as roche friability roche friability have following specification it has a transparent polymer made chamber or drum in which we add our tablets it is driven by a motor it rotates or it it driven by or rotates by a motor and it completes 25 plus minus 1 rounds per minute and its running time is 4 minutes internal diameter is 283 to 291 mm it is the diameter of drum internal diameter of drum this drum basically has an arc if you see from this diagram here we have such type of arc installed which also provide lift which also help to rise and drop the tablets and also apply attrition forces to our tablets so it has one arc and tablets during friability test falls from the height of 6 inches or 156 plus minus 2 mm according to the types of drum we have three types one is roche type other one is wenkel type and third one is abrasion type in roche type it is a simple form of drum which is used or attached to the friability apparatus it has one chamber it has one arc and it is used for single sample testing at a time for wenkel type it has two chambers one chamber is one at one side one chamber is at one side and other chamber installed at other side so it has two arcs one is 
in this chamber and other is in this chamber this type of drum can be used to run friability test for two products sorry this type of test can be this type of drum drum can be used to perform two tests or two samples at the same time two products at the same time may uh, pro, uh, may results in some regulatory compliance so we can check two different samples at the same time of the same product so in the abrasion type friability uh, friability apparatus we have a drum to which many baffles are attached to the sides wall of the apparatus and it is used for those products which give ex which required excessive mechanical strength so this was all about apparatus used for friability test now how to select number of tablets for the friability test it is one of the most important question so if the individual weight of tablet is equal to or less than 650 mg then we will select as much number of tablets as which will give close value to the 6.5 grams of the total volume total weight mean if our tablet weight is 650 mg or less than 60 650 mg we will weight as many number of tablets as which will give as close results near to the 6.5 gram and if individual tablet weight is less if individual tablet weight is more than 650 mg we will select 10 tablets all the time mean if we have a product whose compression weight is 400 mg we will take as many tablets as which will give result to 6.5 g and if we have a product who has compression weight 800 mg we will take 10 tablets for 800 mg weight tablet products so the next is what is the procedure to perform friability test it is a very simple procedure we select we take selected number of tablets according to the method we have discussed in this scenario so after taking tablets we de-dust our tablets because the tablet may have a type fine powder first of all de-dust tablets then weight the tablet this weight will be the initial weight or w1 and then these tablets are placed inside the drum of the friabulator and it is rotated as we discussed it rotates at 25 rpm and run time is 4 minutes after 4 minutes the apparatus stops automatically we open or remove its lid and remove the tablets de dust the tablets again and we weight it again this will be the final weight or w2 and we use following formula initial weight minus final weight over initial weight mean w1 minus w2 over w1 into 100 this value will provide a reading which we compare to our acceptance values and one more thing is that when we remove tablets from friabulator we can physically examine our tablets which can give us an idea that our tablets are not broken down or are not chipped so it is a simple procedure which is used for friability test and now about acceptance criteria our friability test is considered pass if our friability is our friability value is not more than 1% mean if our values are less than 1% we consider our test pass and we continue our compression operation and after compression other related process process are continued because our friability is okay hope you are clear with the friability test if you have any confusion you can ask in the comments if you like the video subscribe our channel and if you want to read the article the link is given in description you can read from there for the next video allah hafiz